And the Dobrynik Channel is back, and today we're going to be talking about Lake Powell and Lake Mead strictly. I want to talk about future forecasts, as they have received quite a bit of snow. We're going to be talking about the snow depth. We're going to be talking about the water level. We're going to be talking about the future in this video. And if you think this video is worth a like at the end of it, please consider subscribing. That would be great. As giving it a like, that would be awesome as well. And without further ado, we're going to roll right over to windy.com and... And while things are looking bleak for California, just in general, the whole West, this is your 10-day forecast. And here is your GFS and here's your European. You can see very little precipitation in the next 10 days. And most of the West is going to be dry with the exception of Washington State and the Puget Sound area. And a lot of this has shifted to the north. Long range forecast for most of January is going to be fairly dry according to the models that are coming up that I've seen. And this is not good news. They just started up the Hyatt power plant. We know about that. Not to mention Lake Powell, not to mention Lake Mead and all this. 10 day forecast all the rain has shifted back to the north and from a wet December a wet October a dry November we are going to have a relatively dry January and this is just a bad bad situation now the eastern part of the United States is going to be fairly wet but today we're going to be talking about Lake Mead and Lake Powell and the Flaming Gorge I want to take you to this map real quick as we show you here we are at Photoshop and I took a shot of Google Earth and I downloaded the EPA map and I wanted to color these in so I took the time last night and did that and I colored all of them in but today we're talking about Colorado, the Colorado River and here's your watershed for the Colorado River from up in Wyoming all the way down into Nevada all the way down to Mexico. This is the entire river system for the Colorado. Here's the Pacific Northwest. Here's the Missouri. Here's the Great Basin. That's the Colorado Upper. That's the Lower Colorado. Here is the Red River. And here is the Rio Grande. And here is California. We're gonna to concentrate tonight on the watershed here in the Upper Colorado and the Lower Colorado. With the forecast looking bleak, you can see that this is where this is located. A viewer of mine was asking where the watershed was. I managed to figure it out where I can get it, where I can actually outline it. And here's your outline. All these pink lines are your outlines of each basin where your watershed is. So here's the upper, here's the lower. All this water here rolls into the Gulf of California down here. If it ever makes it there, generally it makes it to California because California sucks most of it dry and it just makes it barely across the border and they suck up the rest of it and then that's that. There's very little of a river left as they used to give a lot of sediment downstream and now it's just nothing but sand dunes down there if you were to go down there. I've seen many, many videos. You can look them up. I can't share those because they'd be copyrighted, but here's what we got. This is what you got going on. Here is your river basin. So as we roll back over to Wendy, you got a better understanding where these lines are. So you can see that the water basins all the way through here, just like I said, it comes kind of comes up here and then down and then over and over over like this along the Great Divide here up into Wyoming a little bit. It doesn't make it over to Denver as the Great Divide's right through here. So you can see that Colorado starts in here somewhere, I think right around here if I'm not mistaken. And here's your Green River that goes all the way up here into Wyoming and it scoots down, down through the Flaming Gorge, down, down until it hits the Colorado River way down here. And then Lake Powell's right here. So there you have it. There's a bunch of streams and whatnot that hit it. Now the Great Basin's over here. You can see that everything has shifted to the north. Now we want to go to the new snow accumulation. And the new snow accumulation looked pretty bleak. As we scoot in, you can see for the next 10 days, 4.8 and that's on the other side of the divide. Aspen over here, 0 0.9, just not a whole lot. 1.3 and 3.3, so not a very good situation at all as things are starting to dry up in the next 10 days. We go to snow depth. The snow depth is fairly reasonable for this time of year. 61 inches there, 51 inches there. You got some snow over here, just 
right along the line there 57 inches up here probably has the majority up at the beginning of the green river here 78 inches aspen over here 56 so there's quite a bit of snow down here they got a decent amount to 42 inches it's not terrible they say that there's going to be about 6.6 .6 million gallons flowing into the river which is about a normal year thus far now there's plenty of winter left with the majority of the winter coming but things are trending to be more dry than normal your long range forecast we will show you here in a minute 18.8 is pretty good over by st george st george doesn't have any but to the north of there 29 inches and then you go up here a little bit where it's still in the watershed if i'm correct 12.3 so you have a decent snowpack they're thinking about 6.6 .6 million is going to flow into lake pal which is a decent normal year but we're already starting down way low than what we have been so with no precipitation coming in the next month or so or very little that's not a good situation and we'll be monitoring this and see if it gets worse so they're saying the lake will come up quite a bit when you're letting out 7.5 million and you're only receiving 6.6 .6 million back you're still going to be starting out at a deficit so it won't come up as much as people think unless we get a lot more snow a lot of people ask will it reach deadpool now that is to be determined deadpool is pretty low but we are getting closer and closer and closer to that deadpool mark as water continues to fall let's go check out the water levels and see where they're currently at here we are at Glen Cannon power plant and you can see that 3700 feet is full pool elevation and the outlet is 3490 and here is your intake stocks per stock here the river outlet intake is 3,374 feet and but I just wanted to show you that Deadpool is 3,374 feet where this thing will not be able to produce any more water beyond that here's an old picture of when the lake was being built and you can see how low the water can actually get before it stops so let's go check out what is going on there so even though you have 3,536.15 feet MSL. And this was taken Thursday, January 6, 2022, 12 a.m. The level is 163.85 feet below full pool of 3,700, like we just talked about, and the lake's down 0 0.23. The level to Deadpool's only 162 feet, and with the amount of water we lost within the last year, it's feasible for this thing to dry up within the next couple of years. It's not a guarantee, just depending on what the weather does. You got six million gallons coming into the lake, but you have seven million five hundred acre feet going out. So six million in when you have a total of seven and a half million going out, you're down one point five million. So there you have it, and you're going to need a lot more precipitation. Look we're early in the winter the bad part is you have seven and a half million going out and you got six million coming in so it looks really really bad and the lake has lost 45 feet from one year so from today so we are going to roll down to lake mead water level next in the water level at lake mead is 1666.66 so the sign of the devil minus one sunday january 9th 2022 at 12 PM level is 162.34 feet below full pool of 1,229 feet and you can see this thing slowly increasing as it generally does this time of year but I mean you're starting at a deficit compared to where it was you know just two years ago at this current day and this thing's down roughly 35 feet compared to where it was so you know if it continues to do what it's doing and the water continues to not come back you are talking that it could be down another 35 feet possibly in another two years that's not out of the realm and it's down since last year it's down a solid 17.77 feet but the lake has increased 0.5 as it generally does this time of year. Now we're not seeing one, two, three feet fluctuation. And I was doing videos in 2020 expecting it to reach 1100 in April and it just never made it come really close. Like 
1098.56 and I just vividly remember saying that it would get to 1100 and it just never made it it's too bad let's roll over to Flaming Gorge and see what's going on up there Flaming Gorge Reservoir water level the water level at the Flaming Gorge is 6017.67 feet MSL Thursday January 6 2022 12 a.m. the level is 22.33 feet below full pool of 6,040. So this thing's not down terribly with a solid, a real good solid snowpack up above it. There's a good possibility that this lake could come up all the way to the top, only being down 22.3 feet. There's a good possibility that it could get to the very, very top. Now you can see where they started letting water out somewhere around here around June. They started really letting the water down quite a bit and to supposedly bump up Lake Powell, but Lake Powell never came up. So that is what's going on. Changes since yesterday, 0.2 feet. A lot of this water is frozen, so you're not going to get a lot of increase coming up from the Flaming Gorge right at the moment because a lot of it's frozen from all the snow pack above. Now we're going to go talk about the upcoming forecast and it's just bleak. This is your future forecast. You can see right here that this thing just continues to be below, 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 over and over and over. And these are Here's an actual equal right here, low, low, maybe, maybe not right here. So this thing doesn't look very good in the upcoming year. And this is just not a good situation. We are going to have to be worried about this. Showed this in a video just recently talking about California over at Lake Oroville. And you can check out that video if you want. It's my last video I did. And this is just terrible. So I just wanted to bring it to everybody's attention. Don't get too excited about the snowpack, even though it's high. With 6 million coming in, you got to deficit of 7.5 that's one and a half million going out so you'll be down another million and a half maybe more depending on if it's drier then the water will decrease plus the lake's shaped like a v like i've said a million times so the water will continue to drain quicker as it gets lower the first half goes really slow and the second half goes really quick so that is all i have for today thank you everybody for stopping by appreciate it god bless you all we will see you tomorrow night with the lake oroville update